Welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantelle. Thank you so much for being here. Well, it's finally happened. I've started Christmas DIY projects. I know I'm a little behind on this. A lot of creators started several weeks ago or even a month ago with Christmas projects, but that just seemed a little too early for me. And then before I knew it, wow, it's almost November. So, uh, I finally started my Christmas projects and today I have some fun and unique Dollar Tree Christmas decor DIYs for you. These would be great for just displaying in your home or to give as gifts. So let's jump in and get started. For this DIY, I will be using this cute wooden truck from Dollar Tree. All my supplies will be from Dollar Tree unless I tell you otherwise. And so I will also be using these two little wooden crates and this three pack of little trees. Also, I'll be using this four pack of little clip on chalkboards. A little bit of faux snow. Some thin jute twine. I'll also be using this linen white chalk paint. This I picked up at Walmart, and I'll be using some other colors of craft paint as well, such as this red chalk paint and some black and gray craft paint. These I just picked up at various places, either craft stores or Walmart. I'm going to start by gluing my two crates together using some super glue wood glue. This I did get at Dollar Tree and it works really well. So I am just gluing the two ends together. And I am adding just a little bit of hot glue just for an instant bond so I can keep working while that wood glue is drying. Then I'm going to give my crates a couple of coats of chalk paint and I did go ahead and paint on the inside of the crates as well because you will be able to see through the slats in this so I just wanted it to all be really finished looking. While that is drying I'm going to go ahead and paint my cute little truck. I am using just a red colored chalk paint to paint the body of the truck and uh, this I just kind of went along with the uh, guidelines of the detail. I'm going to be painting my fenders a different color but you could paint those red as well. I'm going to use a black sharpie just to kind of outline where the tires would be on this uh, just to give me a guideline. You could color the tires in using the Sharpie, although I find that it bleeds a little bit on the wood. So I did decide to go ahead and paint mine just with the black craft paint. But like I said, you could totally just color them in with the Sharpie if you wanted to. And as you can see here, I did go ahead and paint the insides of the tires because those will show and I painted the inside of the truck red as well. Here I'm just mixing some black paint with some gray just because I only had a light gray and I wanted it to be a little bit darker so um, I was just mixing it to get the color that I wanted but I'm going to paint the fenders of my truck gray. Once that gray paint is dry, I'm going to take a dry brush with just a little bit of black paint on it and I am going to dry brush kind of in a circular motion, kind of following the shape of those fenders over that just to give them a little bit of a worn look. And then I'm going to go ahead and dry brush a little bit of the black paint on my crates as well. Next I'm going to take a little bit of that thin jute twine and I am going to use it to attach my little chalkboard clips to. I'm going to be using all four of those little clips and I'm going to just clip them onto that jute twine and I'm going to glue the twine at each corner and then up at the center. I decided not to attach the little clips permanently because I wanted to be able to just take them off of the little twine and write on them. I thought that might be easier, um, but you could add a little hot glue if you want them to stay on permanently. I just hot glued the twine and clipped the clips on. 
And as you can see here, I'm writing days till Christmas on the last three clips. And then I'm going to use that first clip to write how many days until Christmas. The great thing about this is it's just a chalk marker. So you can change this up and make it say whatever you want. You could do this Christmas countdown or you could put something like joy to the world or have a Merry Christmas. Next, I am going to add a little faux snow to the top of my crates, and I'm just using this um, weld bond glue only because all of the regular Elmer's glue I had was all dried up, and I didn't really have any good craft glue, so I am just using this weld bond, which is total overkill for this, but it works. And I'm just placing a few patches of snow. I'm not covering the whole thing, but you totally could if you wanted to. And I went ahead and placed one of the smaller trees and the taller tree on the back left corner of this because I wanted to get them on there so I could place some snow around them. And then I just continued to add a few patches of the faux snow. Now I'm going to place my little truck where I want it and mark underneath the tires so that I know where to put the glue. And then I'm just going to put uh, just a little drop of hot glue under each tire. At first I had just stuck that other little tree in the back of the truck and I thought it was going to stay okay, but then I decided I should add a little bit of hot glue just to secure it. So I did do that. I love how this little Christmas countdown turned out and I think this farmhouse red truck is just adorable. If you are a regular subscriber, thank you for coming back and watching this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. And if you like Dollar Tree DIYs and DIYs on a budget, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around because I do a lot of that here on this channel. For this next project, I will be using this large plastic ornament. Now this is one of the flat ones. It's not a round ball. And I did pick this one up at Michael's, but I have seen similar ones at Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using this little wall decor piece. as well as one of these wooden candlesticks. These I did pick up at Hobby Lobby and these are one and seven eighths by one and three quarters. I will also be using a string of LED battery powered lights from Dollar Tree. Um, either one of these styles will work, but I think the thinner strand wire will work better. I will be painting my ornament using this Rust-Oleum frosted glass spray paint. This I got at Walmart or maybe Michaels, I'm not sure. And I will be using some various craft paints, green, white, and then some metallic gold and silver. These I just had on hand and picked up at various places. I'm going to start by removing the top of the ornament and then spray painting it with the frosted glass paint. I took a piece of floral foam and stuck a dowel in it. This way I can put my ornament over the top and spray it easily on both sides. And I find that I have to do multiple light coats of this to get the frosted look that I like. So I would just let it dry between coats and while it was drying, I would work on other things like this. So I turned my little wall decor piece over and put my battery pack inside of there. And then I'm marking um, where uh, that is. I'm going to cut it so that it's just a, like a quarter of an inch larger than that battery pack. And I'm just using my miter box and saw for this. And then I am going to take the end off of the longer piece 
and I'm going to attach it to the smaller piece. So I'm basically just making a small little box for my battery pack to fit in. And it's real easy to break this apart and then I just used a razor knife to cut off that end that I'm wanting to use. And then I cleaned it up a little bit. I used some wire cutters to kind of snip off some of the chunks of glue that were still attached to it. And then I am going to sand it and trim it a little bit just to get it to fit uh, nicely on the end. And I did have to kind of bevel the edges of the little box that I cut uh, using the razor knife uh, so it would fit as nicely as possible. And it's not perfect, but I think it still works. And I just used a little bit of hot glue to attach that end. Next, I painted my box black, and I'm actually going to show you what I did first because you're going to see it throughout the remainder of this project, but I do end up changing it at the end. So uh, I took my little box that I painted black, and then I took some white paint and an old brush and just kind of pounced a little paint on here. I'm just kind of trying to make a little bit of a, I don't know, speckled look. Um, to this just to give it a little more interest and I also did the same thing and added a little bit of silver paint to that too. And then I took my little wooden candlestick and I painted it with the black paint. Now that my ornament has the frosted look that I like and honestly I put probably six or seven coats of paint on this um, but it's uh, got a frost nice frosty look and we're going to do some painting and I am going to just encourage you to try this. It's not hard even if you think you don't have painting skills and you can practice this on just a piece of paper or uh, just something that you know you don't really care about and then go ahead and do it on your ornament. So for this we are going to be using a flat paintbrush and you want it to not be a round brush but a flat one uh, because we are going to paint some trees. If I were Bob Ross I would say we're going to paint some happy little trees and this is very similar to the way Bob Ross does it but it's just a really easy technique so give it a try. So I am using some white and some silver paint and I'm just kind of mixing them a little bit together on my brush and then I am going to keep my brush, uh, the flat part, I'm just going to keep it horizontal and I'm going to start at the top of the tree and I'm going to work down and you'll be able to see how I am uh, making the tree branches but it's just going back and forth and just kind of dabbing little lines. And then I am going to continue to make my tree wider as I go down. And then at the top of the tree, I do turn my brush vertical so that I can just make the little skinny top of the tree. But for the rest of it, I'm going to keep my brush horizontal and just dab back and forth. And the secret here is to not have too much paint on your paintbrush. You can always add a little more, but if you get too much, it's really hard to get that uh, look that you want. It just kind of all blobs together. So less is more. I'm also going to take the white and the silver and just along the very bottom of the ornament, which is actually the top of the ornament, because you can see here that I have the ornament upside down because I want that hole facing down. Um, and so along right above where that opening in the ornament is, I just painted uh, some snow along the bottom. And I'm going to do this white and silver tree on both sides of the ornament. And I made them about the same size on each side. And I did add a little bit of extra uh, silver once I had my tree uh, just to kind of help bring that out and add a little bit of more sparkle to it. Next we're going to take some metallic gold paint and just a liner paint brush and we're going to make some just stick trees basically. So like 
trees in the winter that have lost their leaves. And I started out with this uh, liner brush that was a little larger and I didn't like how it was looking so I actually switched to a smaller liner brush and uh, if your paint is not uh, drawing lines very well if you add just a little bit of water to it just a little bit uh, to thin it out then it will uh, draw lines better so um, I just switched to that smaller brush and then I'm just making a couple of lines of vertical lines and then adding some branches off of the the main tree trunk and that's all so I know some of you are still thinking I can't do this but please give it a try you might be surprised and if you decide you can't do it then you can use uh, something that you cut out on a Cricut machine or some sort of decal or rub on transfers on this. So it's not limited to just painting. So now I'm going to use the same technique that I used on those white trees uh, for a green tree in the center. It's kind of like the, uh, the showcase of this project is this nice pretty green tree. So I mixed some lighter and darker green paint and I'm, I'm not mixing it thoroughly because I want the different colors to show um, but I'm just putting a little bit of each on my brush and then I'm using that same technique to do this green tree. And I'm making this tree a little larger and so it is covering up a little bit of those gold trees and a little bit of the white trees on the bottom. And then I'm just going to add uh, some various colors wherever I think it needs it as far as the darker or lighter green. And then once that is dry, then I'm going to add a little bit of white just to make it look like it has snow on the branches. I just love how elegant this looks and how easy it really is to do. Now we're going to assemble our little base for this and so I'm marking where the center of my box is so that I know where to drill a hole. And I'm just using a drill bit that is big enough so that I can thread my lights through that. And then I'm also going to drill a hole through the candlestick so that I'll be able to put the lights through that as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and thread my wire lights through that hole in the bottom of my base and then also up through that little candlestick. And as you can see, my little battery pack fits in there and it has a little extra room for the extra wire. And then my lights are going to go up through the candlestick and I'm going to glue that candlestick to my base. And then I'm going to thread my lights into my ornament. Then once I have the whole strand of lights threaded into my ornament, I'm going to glue it to the top of that little candlestick. Isn't this so pretty? The camera doesn't even do it justice. It just is very elegant looking. But I do need to cover up that part of the ornament where the the top of the ornament was because it has threads on it. So I'm going to just use some ribbon and I had this fuzzy white ribbon that I got on clearance after Christmas last year at Michael's, but you could use any type of ribbon that you want to cover this up. So I'm just going to glue a little strip around that uh, area of the ornament and kind of cover up that seam where it attaches to the candlestick and then I'm going to tie just a regular little bow and glue that on as well. Well I decided I wasn't loving the black base and so I decided to paint the candlestick white and then I decided to paint the base white. I wanted it to just have a softer, snowier look and so I just put a couple of coats of white paint. You know, sometimes you end up changing things up from your original plan and that's okay. Let me know in the comments which way you liked it or if you would have done it a completely different way. 
Once my white paint was dry, I did decide to add some sparkle glaze to the base of this. This is uh, something you can pick up at craft stores for sure, and maybe even Walmart. I don't remember where I got this. It's just a clear glaze that has glitter in it, and it's great for doing projects like uh, that are snowy or that you just want to add a little bit of sparkle to. Okay friends, I know this DIY was a little bit more complicated, so let's end with one that's a lot easier. I'm going to be using this cathedral window wood decor piece from Dollar Tree and one of these Merry Christmas wood signs. I'm also going to be using this frosted greenery. This is new at Dollar Tree this year and I love it. And I'll be using some of this wired ribbon that I picked up at Walmart last year. The first thing I'm going to do is use some of this 100% acetone nail polish remover to take off the words on the little galvanized metal piece on the bottom of my sign. I'm just dipping a Q-tip in this and then rubbing on the lettering. It does take a little bit of pressure, um, but you can let it soak for a little bit and it'll come off a little easier. So um, I just removed these words. It ended up I probably could have left them, but I wasn't sure if they were going to show through my little Merry Christmas sign. So I went ahead and, and removed them. Next, I'm going to paint the little wood Merry Christmas banner with some red chalk paint. And while that is drying, I'm going to just tie a regular bow using my wired ribbon. Then I'm going to cut a few sprigs of the greenery off and I'm going to place them underneath the bow so that they're hanging down and I like to uh, position mine and move them around until it looks uh, good to my eye and then I will glue it down. I just am always afraid to just start gluing things down because that usually gets me in trouble. So <laughs> I just place it and when I'm happy with it, then I will glue the greenery down and glue the bow on top. And one reason I really loved this ribbon for this particular project is because I love the gray in it and how it coordinates with that galvanized metal on that little sign below. I am going to put my little Merry Christmas wood banner on top of that galvanized uh, sign so it's not going to show a lot but it just kind of gives a nice background for that red sign. I felt like the jute hanger that was on this was a little too short and a little too thick so I decided to just use some of the thin jute twine and put my own hanger on it that way I could make it a little bit longer. And that's all there is to this project. It was very simple to do, but I think it looks beautiful. And again, it's a great decor piece, but would also be nice to give as a gift as well.
you enjoyed these three Christmas DIY projects, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you did like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. It really helps my channel and helps other people to see this video as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.